Welcome back to Dream League Season 5 live from the Monster Energy Dreamhack Studios. We just witnessed the first game. Team Empire taking on Team Spirit and Team Spirit. Well, they lost. They lost. They lost harsh. Very harsh. It was Pycat dirty. And Jake here with me again, of course. I, <sighs> I just I was so sad. Jakiro. I really love Jakiro. Yeah, and man. I like seeing him offline. I was like, oh my god, this is a chance. This is a chance for Jakiro to show that he can still be viable. Yeah. I was hyped, man. I mean, I, I had Team Spirit. I said that they were going to do it. And then mm. I saw the Jakiro pick and I was like, nope. These guys know what they're doing. They're going for Jakiro. That means that they know what's up. Mm -hmm. They did not know what was up. Break it down, Pycat. Break it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I also felt like they, I don't know, they had a clear strategy mm -hmm. with, their, with their pushing lineup. But uh, then I think they just, they kind of didn't capitalize on their strengths. I think that the Invoker in the mid lane, I think he should have done better than he did in the matchup because of the draw aura and Invoker is, is generally a pretty decent hero against Puck. I mean, he has a lot of sustain with the Quas. He did go for Quas Wex. And so with the draw aura, he should be able to kind of, I think, out edge the, the, the Puck a bit. Mm -hmm. um, but his lane went in favor of the Puck. And then I think he had some some rotations that didn't really end up working on the top lane. They got caught out. The Witch Doctor did react really fast. Um, but yeah, I think some of the rotations were a little bit off. But then the thing was, they just never really grouped up as a team and pushed. Uh, also some maybe questionable item choices. I don't know, the THD went for Veil when they didn't have that much magical damage. A mech could potentially have done more or a four staff or something mm -hmm. to save the draw. But I think mainly it's just, it felt like they weren't really on the same page. They had this dry, draw lineup with a lot of push. And then they just didn't really group up. There was a time when the Tide used Ravage on top lane and it didn't really achieve that much. Yeah. And where I felt that they could have definitely pressured, but then they just didn't group up as five. And then they got picked off some time and then they went for some rotation that didn't really work. And the game kind of just slipped out of their fingers because they had a very good chance. I think the Doom was level three at eight minutes. The Tide didn't have much. But yeah, I think they kind of just missed their window opportunity. The Doom and Tide won. Doom and Tide did win. Did win, yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. More Tide. Yeah, yeah. Well, once again, though, what a performance on the puck. And this he didn't time, die. Yeah, it was like it was like what we thought was going to happen last time. As Draskal said, hero's great if you never died. And yeah. what do you know? He managed to pull it off. He never died at all. You win the game. Now, 2013-2014 era when Scandal was on Empire. Yeah. Um, first ban against Empire was uh, generally TA and Puck. There you go. Purely because it's Scandal on the team, and he hasn't played it for a long time. But is this something that we're going to see banned? They first picked it. I first mean, ban? I mean, you saw the other series as well against even against even the game where they lost. His puck mm -hmm. was it was, it was really great. on point. He, yeah. he played really, really well that game, and this game as well. I mean, against these silences and a lot of spells invoker with orchids, he managed to not die a single time. I think mm -hmm. he's yeah he's he's playing really well on that hero. So potentially maybe they will ban it. I don't know if they're gonna ban it first phase because there are a lot of heroes, but oh, you it's not out of the question. Yeah. You yeah. definitely want to get rid of that puck. Are you kidding me? After a spanking like that, I yeah. would never let that puck near me again. I believe uh, we have a showing of uh, said spanking oh. uh, in a highlight clip. So let's That's take a look at what happened clip. there. As we have, <laughs> we have slightly updated the highlights clip because we have still got colors, but the colors are now in the item slots. Uh, not item slots, spell slots. You How can see. That? You can so see what we're clicking. Please, pause, because oh. we're not looking at the. We're not looking at the. At the colors, we're looking at the game. Sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. First of all, Stallioner. You can now see that he's no longer said stand-in Stallioner. Mm -hmm. That means he actually wants to change his name. Uh, this, this is Ramses. Yeah. Ramses actually wants to change his name to Stallioner. What are you doing, are Slice? You, nothing. I'm not, I'm not, I'm he wants to change his name to Stallioner. He wants a okay. name change. So hereby, I think this is actually something that he's going to stick with. Stallioner from now on? Yeah. Oh boy, why? What, what are you this? drawing? Oh, there? I thought I was gonna finish making a plant, but then you turn it what blue. The hell is, why is? What is a stallioner? Is that a plant? No, it's um. <laughs> what is that? What, what are you plant? doing? Cheever? What are you drawing? Can we get back to the game, please? Okay, sorry. The giant copter. <laughs> he has this item right here. Is it called Aegis of the Immortal? It oh, is. Thank you. So he is. Yes. He is good to go, even though he's very low. But, and you also see the the draw ranger. He's doomed up, so he has to run. So this mm -hmm. fight. It's already, they know that they're caught inside this call down. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, and they're gonna have to run. The, the Draw Ranger is doomed up. They have the Aegis. Mm -hmm. They basically just have to run at this point. Funic, he's stuck here. He's not gonna be able to get out. Oh, and at this Funic. point, they just can't fight anymore. This is um, an interesting ultimate. I mean, he only gets the Jakiro with it, but. 
yeah, I think at this at this point of the game, it's they they already and and also yeah here I oh, think I the Drow really like was expecting he was expecting the puck to blink up there, and so he gusted preemptively, but the puck. Yeah, he was down on the low ground. There so were the a few misses. moments of those to blink around there the were. gust. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. And Scandal playing very well this game. He's very elusive on this puck, and he managed to blink dodge a lot of these gusts. Look at how low he gets. Oh, and he never dies once. The perfect game. Look at that beautiful, majestic He's one of the pook. few heroes that I actually like people seeing building Dagon, especially when you're up against an enchanter. Like, there's really nothing she can do. What, is that? what is that? That's my puck. That's... Yeah! Look at that little yeah, guy. So, <laughs> yeah, so... You guys, you guys don't know how to recap. <laughs> you don't know how to recap, special guest. You better watch out, dude. You said that's an insult? <laughs> yeah, he's a special guest. You're not a permanent guest. Sex right? knows how to turn anything into an insult. <laughs> oh, yeah. That you is beautiful said, flower, you. Yeah. Yeah. Nice job, you lovely lady. Anyway. <laughs> okay, so next game. Yeah. And we already talked about possible puck ban, but other than that, other than like that, just focus on what Team Spirit can do differently, not about what they are gonna try to change in terms of okay. bans and well, stuff. What in terms of play style? Because you said they, they just didn't feel as one team, the synergy wasn't there? Yeah, that's mainly the thing. I felt like their lineup was, it made a lot of sense. I just felt like they didn't really play together as a mm -hmm. team. It was kind of like, you know, just five players playing the game, Dora. And yeah. I just think like they need to be more on the same page. Was it partly because they might be inexperienced in playing the lineup that they played, uh, aka Jakiro? Yeah, potentially. I mean, I, I have no idea what they've been practicing, mm. and you know, it's it's so it's obviously hard to say. I don't know how much game, how many games they've played together, even. Yeah. So it might take a while for this lineup even to you know to merge together and start playing together. Yeah. But um, they're only here for a week. They have been right. here for a week, right? So I got a suggestion. Maybe pick heroes that are in the meta. Would be a good start. But what about Jakiro? Jakiro's out, baby. He's about, gone. Why? why? Jakiro's he gone. Though. Liked his, yeah. You want to know why he's gone? Take a look at the last game. And then you'll know. Was that the fault of Jakiro? <laughs> Come on. Was it? I don't know. I, I didn't really feel like it was on the THD so much as Twin Headed the Dragon, team guys. Not playing well together. For Oh, is that Twin Headed Dragon, THD? Cool. For people that, that haven't played Dota I 1. I learned something. <laughs> oh, sorry, go ahead. That's why people call him no, that. No, but I was, I was done. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> you. A uh, harsh question here. You don't have to yeah. answer it. Did that team win because they played poorly or because the other team played well? Um, in my, I mean, I think that, I think it was mainly on the execution of Team Spirit. Yeah. They mm -hmm. didn't really, I mean, it's, it's not even that so much that they played poorly per se, the players individually or anything. It's just that they didn't play together, you know? Yeah. You hit someone with, with five open fingers, it doesn't do that much. But you form a fist, then, you know, now that's you deal more damage. Now that's an extended metaphor. Yeah, there you go. I love you, Pike. It's not extended, it's just a Big metaphor. Damage right yes, he here. started with a metaphor and then he extended nah, nice it. Guy. No, that's the same. That's, that's the same. It's not extended. You're a metaphor. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to the draft of game number two. We have got it going. It is going to be Empire once again taking Team Spirit once again as it is game two of the same series we saw just now. And we are... Come on. Come on. 